so I'm Roscoe. This is my wife Becky. We came here in January because I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't doing too well. Uh, I was 336 pounds, uh, pre-diabetic, and I had swelling in my hands to the point where I couldn't hardly make a fist. I didn't have enough energy to get up off the couch. Didn't feel like going to work. Didn't feel like spending time with my family. And it's May now, and I'm feeling a hundred percent. I've lost thirty pounds, a little over thirty pounds. Um, sometime this month, I'll be below three hundred pounds for the first time in five to ten years. And your energy levels are up. <clears throat> He's handling stress a lot better at home and at work. Even my crew at work is talking, the guys at work are coming to me and asking, what are you doing different? And uh, how come you're handling stress so much better? Um, even the kids, we've both been, we've changed our diet. We're um, eating more of a paleo diet now. And the kids at home are asking mom, how come her stress is so much better now? Mom's in a better mood. Mom's in a better mood. When she's in a bad mood, it's for a shorter period of time. There's been a lot of a lot of the health concerns that we weren't able to get addressed through the regular doctors. We were having a hard time getting them to even take us seriously that these were a concern. And when they did tell us, oh yes, there's something that you should do, they weren't following through. We weren't getting. Um, they wouldn't check up to see if it was making a difference or not making a difference. Actually, um, our family doctor put me on hormone, started me on hormone therapy. But then he started changing the doses without seeing what the effects were of what he was doing. And that was one of the other things that scared me. And that's why we, one of the reasons we came to see Dr. Ira here. Yeah. It's the follow through. It's getting the information that you need, getting it and using it and keep, keep using it. It's getting the checkups and knowing that you're making progress. And it really is, um, it's addictive. You start seeing a progress and you want to move forward and you start feeling like moving forward. You start to notice the differences when you do eat or do something that you weren't doing and you notice the how your body's reacting to those things right away. You can tell, oh well, this I did eat that or I had this that I was that we were staying away from and right away you can feel the effects of having something negative in your body. So we've been practicing the 80-20 rule. Um, <clears throat> it's hard when you're traveling or you have a busy schedule uh, we don't beat ourselves up when we deviate but uh, <laughs> you start deviating less because you notice the effects of the deviations you have a picture to show me here yeah this is a picture from my son's birthday last year after a day one day's worth of hunting was two days on the couch and uh, that's not a good feeling I'd rather spend to the next two days hunting as well. Hold that up next to your face, please. Just so we can see that whole comparison. Yeah, what a difference, hey? Just five months? Five months, and by next hunting season, I'm going to spend less days on the couch and more days hunting. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you both.